Miami now has they've bounced between Cutler and Matt Moore. Cutler's been hurt. He's dealing. Uh, he's in concussion protocol, I believe. So we're not sure which one is going to be the quarterback here. Um, Miami, they just they've fallen apart really in multiple ways. Their run defense was horrific. If you watch that Monday night game they played uh, at Carolina, the Panthers just ran it right down their throats. Tampa Bay just beat them on the road the last week Patrick. with Ryan Fitzpatrick playing QB. So, I mean, Miami, this was a team that won 10-6 last year, probably overachieved a little bit because they won a ton of close games. So I think they had just some fortunate bounces. When you play games that are decided by one score, you're, you shouldn't win 80% of them, but that's what the Dolphins did last year. So I think in, in a way, they were due to come back down and drop a little bit from that 10-6 record, but they've fallen even below that. They're playing just much worse football than they were a year ago, and it's hard to imagine. You know, every year we talk about, oh, the Patriots might get clipped by one of these division teams. Like, they'll probably lose one in the division. I don't think at this point they're going to lose one in the division. Um, it's setting up for them to run the table, really. I mean, they have a tough game week 15 at Pittsburgh. And that game could decide home field advantage in the AFC, but these division opponents are just, they're terrible at, at this point, and I don't think the Patriots are going to lose one of those games. Yeah, I mean, it'll be, it's a, it's a tough ask for the Dolphins to come up here and then win on the road against the Patriots. Um, I mean, you look at the Dolphins roster, and, like, they have some good players, you know, like, um, their, their offense, they have um, a really diverse and, and talented set of receivers. They've got Jarvis Landry, who's a really good slot receiver. Devontae Parker, who's six foot three and can make uh, some uh, nice plays as a possession receiver, red zone threat. Uh, and then you've got Kenny Stills, who can just fly. He can he can really stretch the field. So the uh, and then you throw in Julius Thomas. They've got some, some good receivers. Yep. Um, they just traded away Jay Ajayi, and so uh, they've got Damian Williams and Kenyon Drake as their two running backs. But mm -hmm. Williams looked great against the Buccaneers, and Drake has had his moments too, um, but the, the thing is, they just have not figured out the quarterback position since uh, Ryan Tannehill got hurt. I mean, they signed Jay Cutler, and he's been pretty bad. They yeah. He had three interceptions before his concussion, uh, yeah. or, or going to concussion protocol on Sunday, so that has not worked out for them. Matt Moore has been all right, but he hasn't been necessarily what they would need to win. And without a good quarterback, I mean, they, they haven't been able to do much. They uh, have just really struggled on offense. They've had some um, suspect defense at times. They've got some good players on defense again, but they haven't been able to put it all together. And mm -hmm. so uh, it's just kind of been a, a really bad year for the Dolphins.